part of a massive athletic complex here in Melbourne that makes it the capital of Australian sport. Ready for the men's 5,000 meters. Steve Monaghetti from Australia certainly will have this crowd behind him. Look at how deep the field is. Typical of international running on a track. You just put a lot of people out there. It looks like a cross-country race. Look at that. 23 competitors. And out of the traffic on the outside, Julius Kipto. Bob Kennedy will be on that outside. Moses Kip Tanui is in the race. And several countrymen that he trains with will tell you about the training methods going on in Kenya today as the race gets underway. Three men in the field have run 13.06 or faster. They are Julius Kipto, Bob Kennedy, and Moses Kiptonui. The early pace will be set by Elijah Maru of Kenya, a 3.53 miler. And there, I should add this, if you're new to watching the sport of track and field, it is now a paid rabbit type situation. These athletes are paid to set an even pace, and the better ones are very valued. And notice them look back and try and hope that, that he's steady coming out at a set, steady pace. They don't want you to run a very fast first lap and then slow it down dramatically. They want an even tempo so people can get in a rhythm. Look at that beautiful human convoy right there. Uh, I would guess that, that uh, Maru is doing his job so far. In second, number 24, Pascal Dolbert of the United States will also perform some pacing, George. And then number 113, Bob Kennedy, former collegiate champion of the United States, the American record holder at this distance. Kennedy had the lead in the 5,000 meters at the Olympic Games with a lap and a half to go. Lacking a great finishing kick, he finished out of medal contention, but ran a very courageous race. And I'm sure we'll see up there a little bit later here, Moses Kiptanui. Kip Tanui, I interviewed at length last year in Europe, Bob. And he is in the middle of that pack. He told me, I'm going to make this a memorable year for me and hopefully for track and field fans in 1998. And we'll see. He's, there he is in fourth place. And he is a virtual godlike figure among runners from Kenya. He is their leader, undisputed, and has taught them so many things about Europe and, and life and, and how to manage your finances and so forth. The story about Bob Kennedy is intriguing. You mentioned that he lacked the finishing kick to stay with the real killer distance runners. Bob Kennedy is, what, about a 355, 356 miler and didn't have the speed to stay with the top guys over that last oh, 600 meters or so in Atlanta. The runners are coming up to the 800 meters here. And there they're about to pass by in better than two minutes and five seconds for the first 800 meters. That's a 410 mile pace. They are certainly sailing along for so early in the year, showing their fitness level. Here's the leader, Maru. But the field still very tightly bunched. Now let's get back to the men's 5,000 meters. When we left it, the race leader was Elijah Maru. There is Pascal Dolbert of the United States, who has taken over the pacing chores. And Bob Kennedy, his countryman, runs second. Followed by the first of the Kenyans, Moses Kiptanui. All-time best of 12 minutes, 54.85 seconds, set back in 1996. Last year, Moses ran 13.03, and he has single-handedly redefined the meaning of performance in another track and field event, the steeplechase. You know, coming into this past year, he had nine times been under eight minutes and 10 seconds, and then everybody else moved better. He had won handily a number of races earlier last season and then watched three times in a row. He was shocked as he got beaten three times in a row in Europe and all three attempts. One is at the World Championships. The next two were world records. Um, and, you know, despite that, it is, his consistency was so great, uh, race after race, that he was named number one in the world as a steeplechaser for the sixth time. Julius Kipto runs in fourth place behind his countrymen. How good are the Kenyans? Consider that of the all-time top 10 performances at 3,000 meters, Kenyans have run five of them. At the steeplechase, all 10. At 5,000 and 10,000 meters, six of the top 10 performances. It is a national passion among Kenyans, and they do it well. We'll be back with more of the men's 5,000. Back in Melbourne, Pascal Dolbert of the United States continues to pace the men's 5,000 meters with Bob Kennedy in second, Moses Kiptanui in third. Now things are starting to happen as Dolbert steps aside and Kennedy takes over the lead. 
Seven laps to go. Bob works hard at, at the mental strength aspect of it, and, and if he has to take the lead and force the issue, that's okay with him. He says he's been able each year to basically increase the quality of his training, sometimes by as much as 10% or even 15 over the years. And has, the last couple of years, he didn't do it this year, came down for extended periods of training in Australia. Three Kenyans running behind Bob Kennedy, the first American in years to train among the Africans abroad in order to adopt their training methods and run on a par with them. Kennedy was uh, one of those rare Americans, I say rare. Uh, other countries have certainly done well at the ages of 17 and 18 at 1,500 meters, better than the United States has. But Kennedy was a 406 high school miler in Westerville, Ohio, in mid-America. Uh, back in his high school days, he wasn't training a lot of miles either, about 35 a week back in those days. Went on to have a very fine career at the University of Indiana as an NCAA champion, and then consecrated himself to bringing American distance running back and has done extraordinarily well. The Kenyans have done even better, Bob. Moses Kiptanui runs in second. Luke Kipkowski has stepped into third place ahead of his countryman, Julius Kipto. Here is number 198, one of the Australian club athletes in this field, Lee Troop from the Victoria province. And holding on very well up with his lead pack, Bob. Now picking up the action of the men's 5,000 meters in the closing laps. Number 115, Luke Kipkoski from Kenya. Previous best of 13 minutes, 22.68 seconds. Running in some pretty heady company right here. Kipkoski is an interesting story. Realizing his talent and bringing him into the fold was Moses Kiptanui. The man who is in second place, actually third right now, is Kiptanui. And what he said to a whole raft of people is, I'm going to help. I mentioned how much of a leader earlier he was in his country, Bob. And this man has got a training camp organized. After the European season, he gives the athletes, and they number up to 30 of them, about a month off to return to their village and take a break from running. And then they're expected to train the month of October in their village and stay there, but begin serious training again. They begin to go to a training camp, usually about November 1st, and they go back up to Nyaruhu inland in the Rift Valley at about 8,000 feet, and they do very serious, intense training. Oftentimes, straight through the indoor season, they don't leave, and they will emerge and go to and move to London and start running the European Invitational Races around June 15th. And uh, it has all been organized by Kip Tanui. Nike provides some money for food and so forth. Uh, but this man that wants to be a coach, coaches Coleman, and has given this man coaching also, Luke Kipkoske, just 22 years of age. We look at Lee Troop there as Bob Kennedy runs in second place. Kip Tanui in third. And with the lead right now is Luke Kipkoske. And the pace continues to accelerate. Kip Tanui now losing touch. Misa Mehari of Australia running fourth. E2 off the pace. Now can Bob Kennedy, the sub four minute miler, close up on Kip Koske? It doesn't look like it as the young Kenyan begins to draw away. The Kenyans are all about speed. They do not do impressively high mileage, but they do, as Larry mentioned, tremendously intense workouts. And here is the payoff in the closing minutes of a long and grinding race as Luke Kipkoski crosses the finish line, 13-12-06. Kip Tanui gets up for second, Bob Kennedy is third. That is 10 seconds better than his lifetime best set last year. He's just 22 years of age. And there you see rounds of applause being given for everybody from the Australian, that is Lee Troop. Keep in mind once again for Troop, this is late in the season for Kip Koski and for Bob Kennedy, Moses Kip Tanui and the rest. The season has barely begun. Just earlier, a couple of weeks ago, Kip Koski set an all-time Australian record for 10,000 meters. He had set the record a year ago and just brushed by it. Just, just missed uh, cracking it earlier this year. So, again, showing a very high degree of fitness and obviously all that speed work and that training and that high altitude training where the air is 23% thinner at 7,500 feet and 8,000 feet 
has really borne fruit. When you come to sea level, it makes everything seem a lot easier. Well, like so many other performances tonight, the fastest ever on Australian soil, over 5,000 meters. Lou Kipkoski, 13-12-04 over Kip Tanui and Kennedy. Mihari, an interesting story. He stayed in this country asking for political asylum after coming here as an Ethiopian junior a year ago.